Hi, this is Alessio Rostani of Leading Trader. Hope you're well. Before I start this video, let me just say two things. Everything I'm going to mention in this video, yes, you can apply to Bitcoin, Litecoin, and other cryptocurrencies, but also you can apply to other markets too. So it doesn't have to be just Bitcoin and Litecoin. And what I'm going to share with you in this video is a powerful secret that's only known to some of the best investors and traders in the world. And you're going to learn this in this video. You see, guys, a few days ago, you probably remember I posted a video about Litecoin. And the video is right here, as you can see. And in that video, I talked about the fact that Litecoin was falling below a key support level. And what concerned me and certainly worried me was when I read the comments below that video. You see, several people were saying things like this. In fact, here's the chart of Litecoin for you right now. Several people a few days ago when I posted that video were saying, hey, great, I'm glad Litecoin is falling because now I can buy more. I can buy more Litecoin, I can buy more Bitcoin because it's now cheap, it's a bargain. So the general comments from a lot of people was that they're gonna start buying a lot more Litecoin and Bitcoin at these levels. Now, you're probably watching this right now and saying to yourself, well, what's wrong with that? Isn't that what contrarians do? Surely as a contrarian, someone who does the opposite of everybody else, you're supposed to do that. Buy when everyone is afraid. So here's the thing, guys. If you're a contrarian, and if you're looking at Bitcoin right now and Litecoin and several other cryptocurrencies right now, and you're saying to yourself, wow, this is a great opportunity for loading up on Bitcoin and Litecoin and other cryptos. Yes, you have the right idea, but there is a third element that's missing from your theory, from your strategy. Let me explain to you. You see, if you're thinking about buying Bitcoin and Litecoin because they're cheap right now, you're right. It's a good idea and good contrarians do the opposite of everybody else. In fact, one of the best traders in the world, Paul Tudor Jones, says this in Market Wizards. He says, to some extent, to be a good trader, you have to be a good contrarian. So let me explain this point very simply and quickly. There are three things which all great investors look for before they start buying into a market. Doesn't matter if it's Bitcoin, Litecoin or stocks or gold, whatever. Number one, first, yes, you're right. It has to be hated. So it has to be unpopular. And that is certainly right now what's happening with Litecoin and Bitcoin. These markets right now, the sentiment has gone against them. People are no longer interested. The second thing you need is the market to be cheap or undervalued. And the third thing, and this is the most important thing, which a lot of people unfortunately are forgetting right now, is your timing. You see, guys, one of the worst mistakes you can probably make when you're trying to buy a market or price when it's falling is you might be trying to catch a falling knife. And what happens when you're trying to catch a falling knife? You're more likely to hurt yourself and end up probably losing a lot of money. And one of the most important reasons for this is because of momentum, because when price is dropping, often the momentum is increasing in that direction. And it's a bit like standing in front of a rock that's falling on you. In fact, if you take a look at Bitcoin right now, you'll see that for the last few weeks, momentum has steadily been increasing lower and negative, as you can see here. Also, notice that when great investors like Paul Tudor Jones, when he says he's a contrarian, he still says something very important, which is the very best money is made at the market turns. That's a very important clue to what he's talking about. In the book Market Wizards, Paul Tudor Jones says, every day I assume every position I have is wrong. And in fact, one of the world's best traders, Larry Williams, has won multiple awards for his trading. Here's what he says in his book. He says, my most important market belief is this. Based on my research and experience, I've developed a powerful and profitable belief system, which is I believe the current trade I'm in will be a loser and a big loser at that. And by the way, in the same book, he says that if you think that's negative thinking, you're right. Only negative thinking is going to save you the most amount of money. Positive thinking, unfortunately, only ends up making you lose more money. One of my favorite traders, Linda Rashke, again, also in the same book, Market Wizards. By the way, if you haven't read this book, I highly recommend you buy it and read it. And here's what she says in this book. The interviewer, Jack Schwager, he asks her, could you describe the mistakes you've made in your trading career that served as learning experiences? Now notice how she answers this question. My own particular weakness has always been being a bit premature on entering positions. I try to wait until things set up just right before I take a trade. It is better to have the wrong idea and good timing than the right idea and bad timing. So you see guys, what great investors and traders have all learned is that before you jump into a market and enter a position, especially when prices are falling, you have to first make sure your timing is also correct. By the way, Linda Rashke also says this too. She says, I realize I'm only human and that I'll always make mistakes. 
I just try to make them less frequently, recognize them faster, and correct them immediately. So remember, guys, the best traders in the world, they realize they're human beings. They can make mistakes. And if they make a mistake, they must correct that immediately. And by the way, guys, let me just say this. I'm sure there are people watching this video right now who are probably thinking, oh, risk and timing? Who cares about that? I don't have time for risk management or timing. If timing and risk management is not important to you, then you are not an investor. You are a gambler. And there's a big difference between gambling and investing. Investors always know how much they're risking and they never risk any more than that. And they also know when to get out when they're wrong. Gamblers do not care about risk, about timing or anything. And as a result, they're the ones who end up losing a lot more money. And guys, remember this. It is not how much you make. It is how much you get to keep. So guys, looking at this chart of Litecoin and Bitcoin right now, what does it tell us? Well, it tells us, firstly, that something I mentioned before, that the fact that Litecoin has broken below this key support levels, the February, April, May lows. And I said, look, if we go below those levels and if we don't see a quick turnaround, if we don't see a quick reversal back above resistance, which is about the 110 level, then we could see significantly lower levels. So I would highly encourage those people who are thinking about loading up on Litecoin right about here. First of all, consider timing your entry better. Remember, guys, you're right. You have the right idea. As Linda Rashke was saying, yes, you have the right idea. You're a contrarian. You want to do the opposite of the herd, the opposite of everybody else. However, as she says, you can have the perfectly good idea, but bad timing. And by the way, let me just bring this to your attention. Some years ago, you might remember this back in 2013. I remember back then when gold dropped below its lows. This is gold in 2013 when it broke key support levels. It broke the support levels that formed a few years back. And you can see what happened afterwards. It made a dramatic drop and it continued to drop much further. I remember this, guys, that right about that time when gold started dropping, okay, in April 2013, I saw a lot of comments from people who were saying, hey, I'm going to go load up the truck. I'm going to bring up the truck and start loading up on gold. Now, I understand that you want to be a contrarian and I understand you're thinking by doing the opposite of everybody else, you're being a true investor. But remember, all good contrarians and all the best investors in the world, they all abide by the third element, which is timing. So guys, the three things we must not do when price is falling is one, not to be afraid. Number two, not buying, but waiting for the right time, getting your timing right before you start buying into a market. And three, risk management. Because even if you decide to buy into a market, like right about there, you have to decide, you know what, at what point you're gonna decide you made a mistake and get out of that market. So looking at this chart of Bitcoin right now, you can see it's coming dangerously close right now to its February and April lows. This is exactly where we're at right now. So you got to ask yourself, would the great investors and traders like Paul Tudor Jones, Linda Rashke, and Larry Williams, would they be starting to jump and buy Bitcoin right now at this point? The answer is probably no, because all great investors want to make sure they get their timing right. Remember, investing is also about good timing. We do not want to catch a falling knife either, especially when the momentum is against us. So guys, what I'm going to do in my next video, which I'll publish for you on either Friday or Sunday, I'll show you two of my favorite market timing strategies, two ways in which you can time your entry into a market. You can time your entry better than just jumping in willy nilly simply because the price is falling. That is what separates you as an investor from a gambler. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope it's helped you. And if it has, please give it a thumbs up. And also, please remember to subscribe to our video so you don't miss our next update. Thank you very much.